Hello people and welcome back to another tutorial by me, Joshua Designs. And today I'm going to show you how to recreate the Black Paris effect uh, in Adobe Photoshop in a few simple steps. First of all, we're going to load our image in Adobe Photoshop and then we are searching for our layers and we are duplicating the layer by pressing uh, Command J and then right click and we are creating a smart object out of it so we can um, do changes down the line and by pressing Control Shift A we are opening uh, the camera raw filter and here we are uh, looking for the color mixer and searching for saturation and what we are going to do here is we are boosting the red and the orange values by a little bit by a teeny light by, by a teeny little bit and we are lowering all the other color values so that we are creating this grayscale effect and yeah now I'm going to the gradient curves and I'm creating this little S shape inside of it. I like to do that because like that I can boost the contrast a little bit in subtle ways and that is it. There isn't mu very much to this uh, little effect. And if we hover uh, above those two little circle icons and we hold alt and we drag it into another folder onto another image that is already set to a smart object, we are uh, effectively duplicating the effect. Here in the drop down menu, we, when we go on camera, camera raw, we can um, here adjust the previous settings to our liking if it is needed. And if we have those settings for an image, like in this one, and we don't particularly like the red effect, we can go into this image, uh, into the filters, and we can drag blue and aquamarine all the way up instead of red and orange, and effectively creating, instead of this hot redness, we are creating this cold blue, and... This is also a really cool effect we can create. Sometimes when we delete certain colors from certain images, we get these banding issues as demonstrated in this image. Uh, what we can do there, we could um, go in and create a clipping mask or a, a, a layer mask and delete this part of the sky and uh, reuse the original part from the sky so where we don't have the spanning issues and the color isn't that much different from the rest of the image and that's about it there isn't much to it we convert the image into a smart object so that we can go back and make changes we open the camera raw filter with Control shift a and we uh, find the color mixer and we drag the saturation of every color we don't want down to zero and you can do this with other colors and I hope this little tutorial was helpful for you and if you like this and if you have any suggestions leave them down in the comments uh, give this video a like uh, subscribe and we see each other in the next tutorial